Hey guys, it's Beth, and welcome back to more some more Minecraft. Um, I'm just going to do some some mining. It looks like I am back in the ravine, so looks like we'll never really get away from it, which is okay. I forget, what is this stuff called? Granite, okay. It's nice to get some granite because it's not a bad looking block, but, you know. I think I'm going to wait until I have no, a full enchantment thing to try to go for um the fortune pickaxe. I might as well wait. Ooh, look, finally, iron. That's become more rare than diamond for me, jeez. This, like, um, tunneling thing has been so successful and lucky. I wonder if I'll just break directly into, like, the stronghold with it. I think that'd be nice. Don't even have to waste any time, um, like, crafting the thousands of ender eyes you need. And I am grabbing redstone, not because I really intend to do anything with it, but just because it gives XP. Looks like we've broken the gravel. Done. We go ahead and grab some of this, okay. Well, I do need to, like, get flint for, um, arrows and flint and steel, so all this gravel isn't a bad thing to have, frankly. golden apples. Oh, an iron behind the gold. You know, I should check how much- oh, my shield is still super durable. Looks like there's some coal here. Oh, well. I'm already running low on pickaxes. That's not ideal. Oh, more iron. like 30 enchantment levels um, to unlock the option for fortune 3 so it's gonna take a bit of time to get to that point
But the way I'm placing torches, light is not traveling very easily, so... I think I'm gonna start putting them on the ground, like right here. That might make them travel a bit further. And lapis, that is so good to get. Because I need a whole bunch of lapis for a whole bunch of enchantments. I'm gonna be able to get full diamond before going to the nether. Wait. Okay, I saw the blue of the diamonds and thought it was like a green of a creeper. I should make an iron pickaxe and see if I can get silk touch on it, um, and then I could just bring all of the diamonds back up as ore and break them down with fortune when I have the enchantment for it. That might be a good idea. Oh, dirt. Usually in my experience, there's always something, like, behind the dirt when it's this far down. But that's more than- that's more luck than anything. It's not like an actual indicator of anything. Oh! Somehow I completely missed that. Oh, you know what I hate, um, because it's such a tease, um, they just put silverfish blocks randomly in the world now, it's rare, but it happens, and every time I forget that it's no longer, like, a stronghold exclusive thing, like, that used to just mean that you were nearby a stronghold, and, um, it really upsets me that, uh, like, I can be digging and find a silverfish, and I won't be any closer to the stronghold. I also found out uh, silverfish are, like, one of two things that the Bane of Arthropods thing actually does. Um, the other one being spiders. It's still, like, the worst sword enchant. They'd have to add a whole bunch more abilities, like, a whole bunch more mobs that are considered arthropods for that to be anything good. Alright. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go back and make a few more pickaxes. And I might see if I can get, like, a silk touch, uh, or efficiency one. Just so I can go through this a little bit faster. Slime ball? Oh, there was a slime up here at some point? Well, that would be useful if we ever need to make leads. Oh, you know, it's dark out. I have to... Have to sleep. Drop some stone in here. Oh, wow. That should be enough coal for that. Oh, you know what? I actually need more coal in general. Okay, um... I'm gonna bring this iron... 
And I'm gonna make a whole bunch of sticks. That wasn't as many sticks as I would have hoped, but okay. Two pickaxes should be enough. Now, let's be real, we're gonna need more. So, let's go see. Ooh, 60. That's already good, okay. See, fortune one lapis unbreaking, unbreaking. Fortune one unbreaking, unbreaking. Um, maybe enchant the sword first. Ooh, sharpness too. Okay. Silk touch. That's what I wanted. And efficiency too. That's good. Let's just get a couple enchanted ones. Okay, I don't need a fortune one. Um, so that cost me a couple levels, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do now is go and get all of the diamonds that are down there and bring them to somewhere safe. Why is it so hard to climb up these water things now? Okay. Somehow I missed the iron that was right there. I think that's all of the diamonds. Yeah, because I didn't find any new ones, so... Let's just fill this in as much as I can and bring these up. Oh. Also need these. Maybe I should have gotten a fortune... Yeah, I should make one of the pickaxes fortune in case I run into more redstone and... Lapis. That'll be really good, actually. I think this one was supposed to be a fortune one, so I'll go get that. Sharpness 2 sword. This is already better than, like, a diamond sword, isn't it? Also, what I was thinking about was, um, bringing some buckets with me. 
in case I need to pick up anything. Um, so, oh wait. Because I think that will let me get more XP along with the stuff, so... I'm just going to use the efficiency two pickaxes, and whenever I need, like, the silk touch or fortune, I'll break, um, into them. It doesn't sit right with me that diamond is no longer the best equipment you can have. I'm kind of questioning what the benefit of netherite armor is too, because like, um... Uh, what is it? Like, wouldn't the, um... Isn't like the armor effect, like, the same because of how, m like, they didn't change the armor, uh, UI to add more, like, things, and, like, diamond already fills the armor, so, like, what does netherite do that's specific to it? Netherite should really be, like, the royal equipment from Zelda that's, like, the strongest equipment in the game but breaks after, like, only a few hits. I'm not sure if that's giving me more XP, but it might be. I'm not sure. I could have placed torches under those blocks, but that's fine. Okay, fortune 1 plus coal equals I'm going to have infinite coal forever now. Oh. That's a lot of gravel. But it's filling in the hole, so... I'm just going to assume... Nope, I was wrong. I hear lava, which means I'm probably nearby a cave. Don't particularly want to explore a ca yep. And there's the lava. I 
You see, I saw that happening literally as soon as I placed that down. Um, my bed. But I didn't have it collapse on me, so... I think that's a success. Okay. I could have sworn fortune gave you more XP, too. The reason I always go after coal, even when I know I have enough, is because, um, ore veins tend to have, like, especially this low down, have, uh, the tendency to spawn next to more ore veins. So, like, that's why I always find, like, iron and stuff next to, um, to coal. And so, there could be, like, lapis or diamond next to the coal, and I'd just completely miss it if I didn't go through all of it. This is almost dead. I'll have to, um... I think I'm going to swap pickaxes after this because I don't want to break it. I could always repair it. Um... Yeah, I'm going to swap these two now. Spider? Spider might mean, um, oh. Not fortune, silk touch, silk touch. Place the stone back down, um. Let's investigate, make sure there's no more diamond that's spawned, like, diagonally. Oh! Hey now! Look at you! Is this a spider spawner? I didn't know they were actual spider dungeons. I thought they were only like... Skeleton and um... Zombie. But this... Presents an opportunity... Um, I can now, um, I can make a, uh, what's it called? A mob grinder for XP. So I'm probably going to do that. Um, I don't want to venture too far into a cave because... Caves are bad. They're scary, and I have so much valuable stuff on me right now, it's just not... Can't do that. Okay. I don't know... I don't know if spiders take fall damage, though, so, like... I don't know if I'll be able to... Effectively do a mob grinder. Do spiders take fall damage? I'd have to check, um... Hmm. Either way, with this, I'm probably going to start, um... Just digging in one direction. I'm just going to, um... Do that, that way I can, like... Get a bit more stuff before... My inventory is completely full. And then I'll head back up.
Oh, I am actually... Yeah, I'm out of inventory space. I'm gonna head back up with all of my spoils from this. This tunnel is so far, I can actually see the night sky and stars at the end of the tunnel because it's not even loaded in. Wow. We went far thanks to the efficiency. Uh, that's better than spider eyes. Spider eyes, you can make fermented spider eyes, which are for potions? Are those how you're like... What do those potions do? Um, I'll have to think about that. Because I don't know if I can make a mob grinder using the spiders. I don't... Because, like, they occupy several blocks. So I don't know if I'd just be able to, like... Uh, you know, like, make a mob grinder effectively since it's going to take up so much space. Alright, you know, I'm going to take these redstone and make them into blocks because it's going to, um, substantially decrease the amount of space they're taking up. I might do that with coal, too, because I think those are, like, it burns a bit quicker, but you lose an extra coal in it. I don't know. I wouldn't really be losing much by doing that. Do I not have gunpowder? Huh, I guess I'll keep the gunpowder in here, then. Bring the lapis up here. I'm gonna keep that pickaxe there because it's nearly dead. Ooh, and um... Oh, farm has not grown as much as I would have thought. I guess because I was out of the chunk it didn't grow? Hmm. How much do I have any? Oh, I don't have any, um, wheat right now. Okay. Well, I think that was a successful episode. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye